In the car hole this evening, laddies and lassies, tonight we are dealing with illuminated entry systems on many various uh, upscale luxury vehicles of the 70s, 80s, and early 90s. Uh, they were just, uh, continued in 92. They no longer had this because keyless entries came into effect. Nobody really needed to use a keyhole anymore for very much. So what we are dealing with here is a little halo around here. And a lot of you younger folks might not know about this, but there is actually um, a light that illuminates in there. It's not a light per se, except it is fiber optics. And yes, they did have that back in the day. This is operated by fiber optics. There's a fiber optic cable that runs in between your door channel all the way through the frame rail. And, well... There is actually a 194 bulb in a socket there, which actually provides light all the way to here. So that light travels all the way through your door, all the way to this lock cylinder. So every time when you wiggle the handle, that light will illuminate so you can actually see your key and open your car. Very straightforward concept, right? But after a while, these 194 bulbs burn out and then, well, you have no light anymore and a lot of people think that all oh, the door panel has to be torn apart and it's not worth repairing actually it's a very simple and easy repair anybody who thinks that this now I want to talk something about some this fiber optic wire is an ordinary black looking wire some of you guys might get into a little bit of a trouble his situation here because uh, sometimes they can be mistaken for an ordinary wire and you might try and apply current to it thinking that there's actually a little small light inside the lock cylinder. No, this isn't true. But if you accidentally, in any scenario, mistakenly cut the wire, mistaking it for a different one, i.e. the sensor at the door handle, don't panic. You can repair a fiber optic wire. You do need a special tool, a wire stripper and a crimper. Uh, I don't have one, but you can get them. Uh, Probably something like the Source or Staples or you guys down south in the States uh, still have Radio Shack. They probably have stuff like that there. But back in the 70s and 80s, you know, fiber optic wire was black. It looked like an ordinary wire, but nowadays it's, it's usually marked as orange. It's an orange colored uh, coating on it. But anyway, it is in a tricky spot in most of these vehicles. But... You're, if you're lucky enough, many of these vehicles you did not require to take the door panel off. Some of these um, actually had a fiber optic uh, um, socket, which actually was imprinted right into here on your housing for your, your um, interior light. This car isn't like that, unfortunately. There was some Buick Rivieres and, and whatnot that actually had them mounted here, but this car is not like that, unfortunately. It is located, now a lot of you guys have been waiting for this, you're going to need a trouble light because it's nice and dark in here, and you're going to have to remove this kick plate and take this out of your way, pull out this insulation, pull it back, and you're going to have to reach right in behind here with your finger. You're going to notice that there's a white wire, and if you push on your, your switch, your door switch, you're going to notice <coughs> that this actually moves back and forth, right? If you see that, you're in the right area because right next to it you should see an orange and white white wire. Orange and white together anywhere on a GM vehicle even today usually indicates that you are dealing with the inside uh, courtesy lamp system somewhere right there. Usually they're coated orange and white. So if you're dealing with, if you see an orange and white wire, a conduit in here, that's usually do, goes right to this. Same with up here in your headliner, there's an orange and white wire that goes to that and anywhere else. There's even wires here, like this socket, for example, that is at your kick plate. This is orange and white too. So if you notice an orange and white wire anywhere on the car, you can guarantee that that is definitely for your interior dome lights and you are definitely in the right spot. So you're going to want to reach in behind here. You're going to feel the switch and you will uh, da -da -da -da, find a 194 socket with one of these and this is for your fiber optics okay see your black wire it runs in along here and you're going to find a 194 bulb so very straightforward put a new bulb in there and you can restore the bulb and you will have your 
illuminated keyless entry back. Very straightforward stuff, guys. Like, I mean, it really is simple. Even you can do it one-handed. So you put that back together, and we will have our illuminated entry back. Alright, here we are. The garage really looks spooky at night. I don't usually like coming in here when it's dark. So, what I got going on here now is I got the 194 ball back in its socket, and now we're going to test this door in real time. This car actually has a sensor on the door handle that if you lift the handle, the light will come on, and if you have your fiber optic wire working properly, uh, you will have an illuminated key lock where you can actually see and and have uh, your key inserted. You'll be able to see it much more. The visibility will be much more uh, <coughs> clearer with the illuminated light. So, many upscale vehicles had these. The Cadillacs had them, the Buicks, a lot of upscale Oldsmobiles, and that was pretty well it. And they were discontinued in the 90s. But, if you guys can't seem to find it, most of them are right behind the pillar where the, your door switch is located. Just have to look around for it. No big deal. It's fairly easy to find. So, we're going to go ahead and try this unit out. And, keep focused. Interior lights are going to come on. There you have it. And like I say, it's not very bright. It's just supposed to be a halo. Right? That's all it is. Your interior lights are on. Kind of see it from here on an angle. And then when the interior lights go out, it goes out. Well, there you go. That's where they are located. That's where the bulb is. And that's how you fix it. Then you guys have yourself a working lighted lock cylinder. So you guys can see your keys on a dark, cloudy, cold November night. Anyway, guys, you guys take care of yourselves.